Welcome to Better Shipping. This is a quick overview on how to get a shipping rate set up and working in your store. When you first open up the app, you'll come into the shipping rates page at the help page. As a quick note before we get started, if you ever need more help, you can always click the help link and read through the guides on each of these steps and features of the app. If you don't start on the shipping rates page, you can get to it by clicking here on the shipping rates link. There may already be some rates in this list if you've already been using the app, or it may be blank if you're a new user. The first thing to do is work out what your shipping strategy will be. For this shipping rate, we're going to have $5 per product shipping on each of our products. Click on Create a new shipping rate to get started. I want to point out that throughout the app, you'll also see these question mark icons. You can hover over these at any time for quick tips and examples of what each of the different features and functions do. If you don't start on the shipping rates page, or you get lost within the app, you can always get back to this page by clicking here on the shipping rates link. The first thing the app asks is to name your shipping rate. Your customers will see this name at the checkout, so give it a name you want your customers to see, such as shipping. Next, you need to choose which shipping zone this rate applies to. You should have already set up your shipping zones in your shipping settings. If you need to set these up still, head over to the Shopify help documentation for more information about setting them up. You can always come back to this video when you're ready. Here we choose domestic as we want to set up the per product rates for our domestic shipping. Clicking next, the app asks if you want to use the zip code postcode restriction feature. This is if you need to restrict your shipping via zip code. Again, see the help documentation for more information about this. We've already set up where we want to ship by country and state using our shipping zones, so we can click no here as we don't need to use specific zip codes. Finally, the app asks if you want to use tiered shipping. This lets you discount your shipping if a customer buys more than one item, such as $5 for the first item and $1 for every item after that. Again, more information about tiered shipping is in the help pages. We're going to leave tiered shipping off as we only want to ship for $5 per product. Click next to continue. At this point, it may take some time depending on how many products you have in your store. Right now, product rates are being created for all of your products. Once that's complete, the product rate page is loaded with all of your products. You can see here at a glance that all of our products are currently shipping for $0 or free. We want to change that to $5 for each product. We could go through each product, change it to $5 and click update and save to save the changes. However, if you have a lot of products, this could take a long time. Or we can use the bulk update tool to speed things up. The link is up here. On the bulk update tool, we can select products by collection or vendor and change all of the prices and product settings at once. Again, more information is in the help pages. We are going to select all products, then come down and choose update price, then input $5 and run the bulk update tool and click confirm. Once we have successfully run the tool, click continue to the products page to go back to the products page. And we can see that all of our products are now shipping for $5 per product. You can still edit these if you need to fine tune your product prices after the bulk update, but for now we'll leave it at $5. Again, there is more help here in the question mark icons and on the help pages. We'll leave the skip shipping off and the product enabled columns alone for now, as they aren't needed for our $5 shipping strategy. An important setting on the products rate page is the default product rate. The default product rate is used when you create new products in your store. When a new product is created in your store's Shopify admin page, the product is automatically imported into the Better Shipping app. The default product rate is then used to give this new product a shipping rate of your choosing. This means that your product will immediately be available on your store with an acceptable shipping rate. If you need to change the shipping rate of a new product, you can always take the new product off default shipping and give it an individual per product price. Once you are happy with your product prices, click next at the bottom of the page. Here you are taken to the shipping rules. These are optional and you don't have to use them if you don't need to. But let's say we wanted to create a shipping rule that if a customer spends over $50, then they get free shipping. We can click Create New Rule, call the rule Free Over $50, then in the drop down box, choose the rule based on order price. We want $50 and above, so we leave the top field blank. We also choose Replace Total Shipping Price, so it overrides our per product calculations and set the shipping price to zero. Again, you can go through the options and hover over the question mark icons for more help. For now, we will just hit save. Now we have our shipping rules set up, we can hit finish to finalise our shipping rate. 
and we can see the new shipping rate here. The last thing we need to do is make sure the app is turned on. There is a status indicator here. If it's yellow, then the app is off. You can turn it on by clicking on the button or going to the settings page. Then turn the app on. If we go back to the shipping rates page, we can now see that the app is on. Finally, let's do a quick test order and we can see that we're getting $5 per product at the checkout. If you need more information about any of the better shipping features, please have a look at the help pages. And if you get stuck, let us know and we're happy to help out.